If your deck's no good, no need to fret, just call on Dr. Internet. Why, hello there, old and young beans alike. Plastic Cactus here, and let me be the first to welcome you to a brand new segment that I like to call Dr. Internet. Hey, whoa, no, no. Pull up those pants and get that rash out of my face. I'm not the doctor here. No way, man, it's you. That's right, Dr. Internet is the goddamn internet. Hell, I'm just a, the strapping young nurse who got into healthcare because he just wanted to help people, but also has a dark and terrible secret. Anyway, enough of my life story. This segment is about you, the viewer. Tis you who will take a fragile husk of a commander and a few brittle rules and fill it up with rich fleshy cards. Essentially, as a community of medical professionals, you'll construct an EDH deck from the ground floor. Then we'll take that deck, run it a few times, and stick it into the random number smorgasbord that is relic hunting. And for your first patient, we have... Vela the Nightclad. The third place deck in the vote-offs for the regular Commander videos seem like the best candidates for this series. The second place decks get another shot at the next vote, but the third place gals and goofs fade off into oblivion. No longer, though. <laughs> oh no, this will not stand. Villa will lead the revolution of rejects and force her way into all of our hearts. But before we start building, let's get a little reminder on her deck building rules. Lots of annoying small creatures, a moderate equipment theme, at least 10 Theros cards, Cryptic Command as the only counter in the deck, and lots of traps, card draw, and removal. And the way this works is that each week, you guys will suggest different cards in different categories in the comments section. Uh, and now you're all welcome to leave comments, with or without explanations, for the cards you're suggesting. But it'll be the cards that are suggested the most that are chosen. So it may behoove you to convince your fellow medical professionals that your methods of healthcare are in fact that the best choices for the patient and will most likely yield to the best chance of survival when she's thrown into this harsh, harsh world. Uh, oh, and uh, just so the comment section is in a complete Wild West realm of pure chaos, let's set some numerical restrictions as well. We're looking at 34 land cards, 6 alternate, uh, six alternate mana sources, 6 cool pieces of equipment, 28 creatures, uh, 20 spells, and 5 enchantment slash non-equipment artifacts. And this week... We'll start with the Theros cards. I need 10 Theros cards. No, I don't give a ferret's taint if those Theros cards are creatures, spells, enchantments, or whatever. Just that they are from the Theros block. So all of you out there in the stratosphere, leave your best suggestions on what those cards should be, keeping in mind that this deck's sole purpose is to find ways of sending small annoying creatures at the opponent's face with perhaps some added buffs on their back. And next Tuesday, I'll tally up the 10 cards that people suggested the most and throw them into the deck. If several are tied for 10th place, I'll make the final decision on, you know, between those 10th place cards. And don't worry if your suggestion didn't get enough support to go through. There might be uh, multiple categories your card is eligible for. There's no rule saying only, only 10 Theros cards. Let's say, for example, Johnny Slithercock of the Rockport Slithercocks suggests the extremely popular Theros card, the Flarbopian Knoblobber. But there are 10 other Theros cards people like more. No worries, Johnny. You can always suggest that lovable Knoblobber again when I'm asking for creature cards in a different week. Oh, and uh, just, uh, just one more thing. If you think someone's suggestions are spot on and you're too lazy to write in your own, you can just like their comment and it'll count. If someone leaves a comment that says, uh, Use the Theros card, Shadowy Dinglepuss, 
And on next Tuesday, it has five likes. Well, the shadowy Dinglepuss is now worth five points when I'm tallying up which cards people want in the deck the most. Uh, okay, I guess that just about wraps things up. Tune in next Wednesday when I reveal which 10 Theros cards were chosen for the deck and witness another category to leave suggestions for. With your help, Dr. Internet, I think we can save this patient. <laughs>